seven o'clock in the morning, start the day, and uh, there was three squad cars sitting down here. And who the f <laughs> are you? Who are you? <laughs> you guys, not gonna believe this next story. So I'm not gonna be the one that tells it. So guys, like this is this is Greg. Greg, you were my truck driver for a long. I was. Time. I did uh, so about seven years. Yeah. Seven years I drove truck for you. How long? How long ago was it since you drove truck for me? 14 years. Dude, it's been that yeah. long. Yeah. Okay, so you were down here and you were at the yard, you were by yourself, and we asked, used to have an old bulldozer sitting in the corner, right? Yeah, back up, back under the lean-to where the freight plane was parked right there. Yep. So, I, I forgot whose it was, actually. It was the people we rent from. Yeah, I forgot his name, but yeah, so I came back, uh, I wanna say like on a Wednesday, and it was kinda one of those half-day deals, might have been a rain day type of thing. And, uh, want me to move my car? No, let's give him a challenge. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get I, out? I offered to move my car, but he said no. Yeah, he said he wants to challenge you. <laughs> he likes to challenge his employees. <laughs> Another bee sting today. What? Oh. Dude, let me see it. You got me good. Holy buckets. Yeah, no sore. It seems like the more you get stung, the more allergic and more That's reactions you have. Yeah. So that same nest. In the, in the hillside? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can see when we took off the old wall, you can see all the little tunnels in there. Oh, dude. So the, all the, the ground bees never got all the way out? No, who knows how far it goes. Is it always with the camera? Well, we have the camera when, when I'm telling a story about the day you offered to help steal a uh, bulldozer. Allegedly, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> So it was, uh, let me recap. So it was, might have been a Wednesday. I think it was a Wednesday. And I think we had one of those kind of short days, kind of a rainy day, whatever. And I, I'd come in here, our gates here are normally locked. Yep. But they were open. I don't know if somebody had dummy locked them and that's how they got opened or whatever. But were they wide open? Yep, they were wide open. And so you're down here by yourself? So I came down by myself and uh, I was driving the Peterbilt at the time, 379 Classic, uh, four and a quarter cat. 495 horsepower, old asphalt truck, wonderful truck. And uh, I pulled in here and well, I was going to... You put your own pig on? I did. I had, it had a flying pig on, on there. It was a nice truck. I am sad to see it go. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, so I'd come in here and uh, there's a gentleman parked basically where the, uh, the box blade is right there. And uh, What did he have? What was he driving? He was driving a brand spanking new. So at the time it was a 2008 Chevy 3500 HD, beautiful truck. Didn't even have plates on it. And he had a triaxle. <laughs> maybe that should have been a red flag. Maybe, maybe that, well, yeah, it, it might have been. It might have been a red flag. But anyway, so I pulled in and I just kind of parked the truck basically right here. And I hopped out and I said, can I help you? And he goes, hey, Greg. And he knew my name. What? He knew my name and he knew Kurt's name. So, so Kurt was our field manager at the time. Yep, yep. Okay, and our okay. other driver here and there, absolutely. So he knew Kurt and I's name, and I don't know how I did not recognize the guy. I said, hey, how you doing? I said, uh, what do you got going on? And he was just, he wasn't the owner, but he was like kind of the head honcho over there. And he's like, yeah, I'm over here for Al. I'm, I'm going to move this dozer to a job site. And I said, oh, okay. And I said, well, you know, he hadn't even pulled it on the trailer yet. So I said, well... You need some help getting around the trailer or <laughs> anything like, no, 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 I got it. And I, okay, you know, so I went and parked the truck, backed in, parked the truck, whatever. And I got back out and still hadn't pulled it on. He was just kind of walking around, just kind of edgy, which also hindsight 2020 was a uh, What did the guy flag. look like? About my height, maybe a couple inches shorter, uh, sandy brown hair, short, combed hair, just black t-shirt, pair of jeans, that's about it, sunglasses. So, okay, yeah, just your average looking guy. Nothing really stood out about him, no tattoos, nothing like that. But, uh, you know, the fact that he was sitting in an $80,000 truck with a $40,000 trailer at the time, you know. Really? So he had a brand new truck and trailer? Absolutely, yep, yep. So he, was, he had like a hot shot set up yep, going? Yep, absolutely. Yeah, brand new gooseneck, triaxle gooseneck, sitting in the uh, brand new 3500 with no, uh, no plates on it. So <laughs> that was probably uh, borrowed too. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I got out and I said, well, what do you got going? Oh, we're going over to, we got a little dirt to move over here. And, you know, Al, if that's the guy's name, asked me to come pick it up and move it. I said, oh, okay. 
well, you know, have a good day, whatever. I said, before I leave, you want to pull it on and I'll help you strap her down. The guy, no, no, I got it. Don't take care of it. Uh, yeah, that, that would have been an accessory to a crime at that point. After the fact, <laughs> maybe I would have been, uh, they would have took a little mercy on me for being an idiot, but uh, absolutely. So I just kind of went on my day, didn't think much more of it. And then uh, next morning I was down here at seven o'clock in the morning, start the day. And uh, there was three squad cars sitting down here. And who the f <laughs> are you, who are you? <laughs> tell St. Paul's finest. Uh, I said, you know, I'm, I'm Greg. I work with genetic excavating uh, before it turned into dirt monkey. I said, I'm a driver here. Oh, oh okay. Well, what do you know about a uh, bulldozer? I said, same story I just told all you viewers. Why would somebody eyeball stealing that up? They knew your name. They knew yeah. Kurt's name. They knew the, knew the yeah. name of the shop manager. I'm thinking insurance fraud, but you never I don't know. know. Inside I job? Oh, I don't know. You know. No, I don't know because they, they called me up, right. the people we rent from, and they were grilling right. me on it. They're like, hey, did you take that dozer? Right, right. What are you talking about? we were the only ones in and out of here, you know? Yeah, I mean. But every time we left for the day, I know for a fact Kurt and I were good at, at locking that door, and, or excuse me, that gate, and him and I were the only ones that ever came down here. I yep. mean, yep. if we ever needed equipment, extra, you know, block, whatever. So him and I were the only ones down here, so I know that gate was locked. We're going to install a new security system down here. We don't have Wi-Fi. We don't have power. So down here, we've got to have something that's solar and cellular. Nice. And I've been doing a ton of research. Okay. And I think I finally found the right camera for a remote location. And it's something. So I'm going to set them up here. And then this is something that I can set up at my snowplow site. So like when I got all my equipment out on a motion site. Motion activated? Motion activated. It'll pick up human faces. It'll pick up. It'll pick up. Yes. 4K picture. 4K. Nice. 108, 150 degree viewing range. And solar power. So you solar don't have power. To worry about. Never have to worry about them coming right. in and unplugging it. And uh, cellular, right. so I don't have to have internet. So and it'll alert you anytime there's motion. Yes. Yep. It'll just as soon as boom. Sounds like you got a little little experience with security cameras. I uh, I've been honestly researching cameras myself six it's a called bit. real link real link real link real link and i bought it on amazon okay two nights ago okay and you got to put a sim card in it and it's uh set up with t-mobile okay and i guess still got to go buy a sim card from t-mobile and then i got to activate a plan so it's like 10 bucks a month so it's not free it's not like plug and play and you forever get all this information but once you activate the SIM card, it's 10 bucks a month and it's 10 bucks per camera. So if you have okay. four cameras, 40 bucks a month. it's 40 bucks a month, but okay. it's a tax write off. Does it store any video? And it does if have, it does, for how long? Yes, it'll overwrite the SIM card. So it's okay. got two cards. It's got a 32 gigabyte SIM card that's in it and it'll overwrite that data and it'll send you the information every time nice. it goes there and it also stores it as limited storage in the cloud okay. so you've got both but it's only recording when it activates motion right otherwise than that so it's not right. just and it's not wearing down the battery running all the time it's basically oh infrared setup oh dude yeah and the and it's got a couple cool features that i actually want to show you guys that you may or may not be familiar with um, it's got pan, tilt, zoom, and uh, you so you can take this camera and you can aim it anywhere you want. But you know what? Let's go outside and see how it actually looks. And it works hand in hand with the Rio Link app. But let's go check it out. So since this doesn't require wires, this is the mounting bracket. I legitimately just stuck one screw in it and then you just pop your camera on. I got it on a tree here. Now, this actually is gonna be going out to one of my sites just because I want to, I need to protect it. If uh, I had, there you go. You could kind of see how I got her set up. So with that being said, let's see what she looks like on your phone. All right, so right now I just popped it in. I'm gonna, oh, there we go. Look at, you can just pan, tilt, and zoom this thing however you want. Let's see, it'll go up. All pure solar. That's the beauty of it. 
know if I want to go toward the cars a little bit more. I can. And that's being oh, that's being controlled up there. Now I can control this from wherever I want. Look at the clarity of that. All right, you guys, a couple things I do want to clarify. This is the real link. It cost me $279. You can see it right there. Okay, so everything is controlled by an app. You can determine your sensitivity to the surrounding areas. So if you want to have it up or down, you want to be able to detect the difference between a person or a vehicle, you can certainly do that. You can set up an alarm to go off so that a siren goes off as soon as it finds somebody, boom, it'll let off a siren and scare the crap out of them. It's actually just kind of uh, annoying. You can set it up to do time lapse on an area and it has all of these your motion sensitivity can be determined right here. You can set it high, you can set it low, you can do it, put it wherever you want it. Here's a cool thing too. You can gray out areas. So if you're getting a lot of uh, background noise, like vehicles going by or activity in the background in the area that you want covered, you don't want to have, well, you can just change that right in these settings and you can grade out. I would show you what that looks like, but then that would mean you would know where my cameras are and you don't get to do that. And it's just a simple touch the area that you don't want detection in and it's good to go. So now what all they got to do is I can tell anytime my crews start. Right, it's right, like, right. Because it'll beat me and it'll be like, yep, bing. I was here at eight or seven o'clock. You didn't run until nine. Don't lie, don't <laughs> I, lie. I saw you sliding in, the car spinning dust, yeah. <laughs> so they can't cook the books like I used to, you know. <laughs> no, Stan, I was here at 5 a.m. until 6 p.m. That's it, I'm gonna be experimenting with this real link system, and if you guys got a good security system you guys recommend, that doesn't require wiring, doesn't require power, doesn't require anything, and you can just hook it up, that would love to hear what you guys recommend. One of you guys sent me some info on the Eufy system, and I guess uh, there's some issues that they're having. I haven't really looked too much into it, but some of the images that they were storing were going up into the cloud, so I don't know anything more about that. But that's something to just kind of be conscientious about. Uh, you know, how secure is your is your not only your information, I mean, we're installing these security cameras to, to keep our gear and equipment safe, our property safe, but is the information that these security cameras getting being kept safe right i mean because like with the eufy camera i thought it was phenomenal i still have it i still love it i freaking love it i can't tell you enough good things about it it will tell me when a person shows up when a pet shows up when a stranger shows up when a vehicle shows up it identifies all of the different things that are going on and tells me right out of the gate but that information I found out is being stored at Eufy's uh, website on the cloud, not just in my phone. And so they have access to that information as well. So just be conscientious of that. With Real Link, I don't know. These guys don't know me. I don't know them. This is my first experiment with this. But I had the, the door on my cat skid loader stolen. That was $3,000. Right down at the yard, right next to where the bulldozer was stolen. The bulldozer was stolen four or five years ago. The cat door was stolen four or five months ago. Theft around Minnesota has just gotten off the charts. I mean, how is it in your neck of the woods and what? where are you guys at? Are you guys still pretty secure or are you noticing a high spike in crime because it's terrible where we're at? But uh, stuff like this is gonna go up and I'm not gonna tell you where, I, I just, I can't because I don't want my stuff stolen anymore. But that's it for this video, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed going along for the ride. God bless, go get them. And I got some security cameras to go install. This is the Real Link GT solar plus whatever i said earlier and i'll keep you up to date on it god bless go get them